Norman Shutters offers four types of French door cutouts. Type A, curved flush. Type B, curved offset. Type C, rectangular flush. And type D, rectangular offset. Now we will install a French door shutter with a cutout using an L frame. Now that we have the frames laid out on a blanket and a smooth hard surface underneath the frames, we can now install the Hoffman key. Note that the Hoffman key has a flat end and a round end. The round end will be placed inside the frame. Let's start by standing up the Hoffman key, the round end up, and placing it in the keyway of the frame. Simply press down until the Hoffman key is flush with the back. Bring the other frame to the Hoffman key and press down until both corners are flush. Repeat this for the remaining three sides. Now that our frame is fully assembled, let's pre-drill six holes into the frame before we start. We'll start one up in the left hand corner. We'll come down to the middle and we'll do one in the middle. And we'll put one at the bottom. We'll repeat this for the other side. Now that we've pre-drilled our frame for six screws, let's go ahead and insert a screw at the top and at the bottom. For this installation, we're going to be using a flat bugle head screw with a Phillips drive. We'll go ahead and place our frame evenly around the window. Note the distance of the frame in comparison to the molding. For this application, we overbuilt the frame just a little bit to take part of the rail out of the window. We'll go ahead and secure the frame by tightening the screw to the door. Next, we'll install the screw at the bottom. Now that our frame is secured on the top and on the bottom, we can put our panel in. We'll insert the top hinge first, installing our panel. Now we'll put the hinge pin into the hinge up at the top. And we'll repeat this for the middle and the bottom. Now, we can check to see how level our frame is. Once we have our frame level, place the screw in the pre-drilled hole, and secure the panel to the door. Now that the top frame is installed, we place the screw in the top. We can now place one in the center and in the rest of the pre-drilled holes. And now that all the screws are installed, close the door, make sure that the panel is working properly, that all the reveals are the same. Also, please note that you, you may have to adjust the roller catches. The little ball in these catches can be adjusted simply by a twist of a flathead screwdriver. You can tighten or loosen that fastener. Now that we've adjusted all the roller catches and checked all the reveals, the installation of your French door with your cutout using the L-frame is now complete.